here we are, lovely downtown uh, sunny Hobart on the last day after a horrendous day coming in from the west coast. Very wet uh, and treacherous conditions, stages which I've never been so slippery before. I think in Strawn this morning in teeming rain we passed four cars and then in Mount Arrowsmith I think we passed five cars in, again in teeming rain. It was a buzz all day, it was great. Tough conditions but we really enjoy those conditions because that they'll get the Volvo up the front. <laughs> we managed a third in outright time going up Queenstown. That was that was just mind blowing. The tenth time I've done it with Andrew and uh, the first year I did it we came tenth. Kind of fitting that the tenth year we came first. When day one we had a big gearbox ball on Mount Rowland and we've actually raced since the last stage on day one all the way here in nothing else but top gear so we're pretty happy and we actually made all our times and we ended up third in Fluria. And I knew that if I could get to the top of the hill which is exactly halfway on Queenstown if I could get there in four minutes I'd certainly go down the other side in three and make it in the seven wet times so that's what I was. It was only up past the bus stop that the thing almost died on me but it just got going and away we went so, so that was, that's what we done yeah. It's been a very emotional day. We took off today yeah, thinking we'd actually be able to pull a little bit of time out of Matt and then when we went to the end of Taralea and uh, she went bang and we thought, honestly, we thought our race was over and uh, well, we knew that there was only two stages left to go that were probably easily cleanable. We thought we could actually hold Quinny off if we could just get the car home, but highly emotional day and unbelievable. Brought up at lunch break, filled it full of oil, and thought we'll go seriously like 200 litres, and I thought the oil there would go. And as managed to get to the next stage, we put another four litres of oil in it, and just cruise through the stage at 60 kilometres an hour, and I think that's where the stage the closest get is from. I get a weird find that you've had sort of two thirds, a fourth of the bit, now to get this, magic. So, we finish the year. felt for Matt today. I, I thought Matt would actually bring it home and look he's, he's, had, an, he's had an off on the second or last stage and I feel really sorry for him. It's all a tribute to Dad and it became a tribute to you know, Dad and my mom and um, it was just so symbolic to actually you know, get to the finish and do this but um, you know, it was all about making him proud as well. We wanted to get that gold trophy and then all of a sudden we were leading the event and you know, quite comfortably before we crashed so we could have actually won the event which would have been even better. But the efforts that went through last night to do what we did with this car is just blown me out of the world. A couple of hours sleep and I woke this morning at 6 o'clock to the sound of the car driving down the road in Devonport. I walked outside, all the boys have tagged their names on the guard. That's a beautiful thing. The amount of hardship that we had to endure and how hard we had to work to actually make the finish line you know, it's something that would have made him even prouder than, than, than you could ever imagine for any first place trophy. <laughs> We're not sure either. We've been looking after it gently. We've been just nursing it. <laughs> it is a piece of shit and it gets treated like that. <laughs> we don't do boring. I thought there was another day. I thought there was another day to go. We were just poised, ready for the big swoop. No, all credit to the guys up the front. They did a good job. I stand on the top of the podium. I'm really pleased that I've had a fantastic driver in there with Jamie. Unbelievable.